real footage. We got eggs here. There's a chicken. Look, there's a chicken, there's egg, and this is the porridge. And this is only cost you less than one dollar, so it's about 70 cents or something. Let me finish my breakfast first, and then from here I'm gonna go to service my car, go to the garage, and while waiting for my car to be serviced, I'm gonna talk about the digital nomad visa. So stay with me. My name is Okimisa, I'm your host Sinbad. I'm gonna eat now. Guys, welcome to WhatsApp Bali channel, the number one channel for you to know how to travel to Bali, Bali travel regulation, and condition in Bali now. If you're interested on those, consider to subscribe. Yes, I'm still in a garage now. I see my car over there. My car's still being repaired. They said that I have problem with the, the brake. So, the brake is very important. Even though I have to wait for one half hour to repair it, no problem. So, guys, back to our topic. Digital Nomad Visa. You know there's several staying permit available for you to enter and stay in Bali. We got the 30 days free visa. This one is for citizens of nine Southeast Asian countries. And then we got the visa on arrival. This for this 86 countries. So this, if you are citizen of this 86 countries, you are able to get the visa on arrival at the airport when you arrive in Bali. And then 46 countries out of this 86 countries is able to get visa on arrival online all you need to do just go to this molina.immigrasi.go.id i already talked about it in my previous video this video and also mentioned the link down in the description just click it okay how about countries that not in the 86 countries i'm gonna talk about it later just stay with me and then number three you got the freelance visa this is the visa for you who want to work as a freelancer in Bali, let's say for instance you are a DJ, a model, a photographer, singer, yoga teacher, athlete, etc. All the freelance job. I also already talked about this. Just this video is about the freelance video and also mention the link down in the description. Then we got the working kitas. It's the kitas for you who want to work physically in Bali. Let's say so you want to work at the company in Bali. And then you got retirement kitas. For these kitas, I also already made the video of it. Previous video, this one. I also mentioned the link down in the description. And then we got family kitas. This kitas is for you who married with an Indonesian to be able for you to get it together with your family. And then we got investor kitas. Investor kitas is for you who have the PMA. PMA is foreign investor company. So if you wanna open up a business in Indonesia, in Bali, you need a PMA. And if you have a PMA, you are entitled to get investor kita. So you can stay in Bali to monitor your business. I also already talked about this in my previous video. This video, I also mentioned the link down below. And then we have the B211A visa. This visa is a powerful visa. You know why? Because one, this visa is the only, this is the first visa available even since the pandemic. Number two, for you who want to get some kitas like retirement kitas, working kitas, etc., you need to come to Bali with the B211 first, and then with this visa, you can apply these kitas because you need to make up some preparation. Like for instance, you have to have place to stay first, and then you have to have local ID card from your. Um, maid and your driver etc etc so to be able to get this requirement you cannot do it while you're still in your country that's why you have to come to indonesia first with that you need to come with the b211 visa because the b211 visa is the only visa for you to apply the kitas you cannot apply the kitas with the visa on arrival and then based on the current regulation with this visa with this b211 visa you're able to stay for a long time even a year okay is it only for six months yep only for six months for one visa but you can renew it without leaving indonesia so once you got the b211 visa and then you can extend it twice so total 180 days and then you can renew your visa 
and then extend it again renew again extend it again so on and so on so you can stay for long with the b211 visa without leaving the countries okay so it will be expensive then we extend it again we have to pay yep if you total the cost that you spend to get b211 visa in one year so you got b211 visa and then extend again pay again extend it again pay again etc the total for one year is more or less the same like other kitas, like working kitas or family kitas. The difference is only like about 60, 70 US dollars. For instance, the price of the family kitas and working kitas to stay one year is about 1,000 US dollars. And with the B2L visa, the total for one year is only about 1,000 70 or 60 US dollars. So the kitas is 1,000. With the B2L visa, it's only 1,060 us dollars only small difference if you with kitas you have to pay once in advance 1000 us dollars in advance stay for one year b211 visa you pay every 60 days so let's say if you change your mind when you go back to your country or you want to move to another um, country let's say you want to move to thailand after staying for five months for instance so you only pay for half of it because you pay every 60 days every two months on the other hand, with the kitas, you have to pay 1000 in advance. Even though it turns out you only stay for 5 months. The downside is with the b visa, let's say if you want to go back to your country for Christmas, even for only for one week, you need to apply the visa again when you want to enter, when you're coming back to Indonesia. That's a downside. Well, with the kitas, on the other hand, with kitas, it's a multiple entry. If you go back to your country for holiday, one week, and then you can just come back to Indonesia without have to apply any visa. That's the good side of the KITAS and the downside of the B211 visa. But anyway, at the moment, since the B211 visa allow you to stay long, since last year, this visa is the one who um, suggests by the government for the digital nomad visa. For those who work online, digital marketing, translator, content creator, YouTuber. You can stay in Bali, you can stay in Indonesia with the b 2 a visa. This visa is required sponsor. That's why you have to apply through the visa agency. You cannot get this b 2 a visa in the embassy or Indonesian consulate in your country. You have to apply it online through the visa agency in Bali, in Indonesia. Like me, for instance. I can do your visa and I can be your sponsor. The process to get this visa is about 10 business days. So make sure you apply at least a month before the day you're traveling. Send me an email if you want to ask more details or you want me to do your visa and become your sponsor. This is my email. Just send me an email. However, if you plan to stay long in Indonesia, if you are a digital nomad, I suggest get the travel insurance because we never know. Safety Wing is one of the best, in my opinion. <laughs> Perfect for digital nomad. I put the link down in the description. Just check them out, click the link. And also get international driving license. If you want to ride a scooter, get the one driving license for a scooter. If you want to drive, get the car driving license. Because we never know. If you got accident, even you ride, you're wrong because you don't have driving license. And you will get problem also when you want to claim an insurance if you don't have a driving license. Send me email if you want me to help you to get Indonesian international driving license which valid for five years. It's easy. Only take one day and then you got your driving license right away. Five years, man. You got five years. So hit the subscribe button for those who haven't. Smash the notification bell so you don't miss any update from me regarding how to travel to Bali, how to stay in Bali, Bali travel regulation, and condition in Bali now. I'm gonna check my car now. So till next video, my name is Okimisa, signing off from Bali. Stay safe.